First of all, it will be Fadla Polly. Okay, so the second one up will be Princess Mouse. And the third one would be... Would be... Frog went to heaven! Woo! Kimana! Kimana! Okay, the fourth would be an audience favourite, Quotes of Marriage. Yeah. And the fifth one would be... Help Hillary help! Alright, we'll start with Padla Polly! And the Something our choo-choo would do. Yeah! We've been playing for like... 20 years! Yeah, no, 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 no! I hate you think that! Ah. Yeah. Relax, man, relax! Today, let me tell you my story! My greatest story from my greatest ancestors! Kawarika, I want to tell a story! A ghost story! Nang nang ghost story! Have you heard of a storyteller before? 
And you may have heard of uh, a stalking book, but I'm here to show you something finer still. Brace yourself. It's the brand new Patriotic Spellbinder Story Box! Oh. So be quiet, and we should apply. Oh. Of the wooden boxes showing a pane of glass on one side. He flipped the switch and the glass came to life. Tiny moved from the pane and tiny voices came out. Someone in the crowd yelled. Oi, it's Mirella, <laughs> A moving feature appeared. Oh, that pussy boots, man. Like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he the knob again. <laughs> and that's Little Beauty. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Never again we have to ask for a story. And never, never say never. Never say never. Hey. <laughs> never again will you have to imagine the pictures. Now, who be the first? To buy a spell by the story box! Uh, uh, take one! Oh, I'll take two! Before long, Dr. Spell by the sky was empty. Yille, yeah. empty! The town square was covered with <laughs> children and grown ups all staring blankly at the little boxes. Ooh, I don't like the looks of this! <laughs> Maria went up big with Duke this bitch. She glanced nervously around her. The citizens of Tailtown, welcome to the story swap. It is my honor to tell the first story, the Pied Piper of Hamlet. Woo! Pied Piper! Round the seat by an open window, back her body heard the soft words and the sucking noise. Life in the town of Hamlet was pleasant, or it would have been, if not for the... The... I hear you! To me, you don't feel. <laughs> I've lost my story. <laughs> and she ran from the stage. A horrified moment rose in the room. <laughs> She's the Milton Marbles, the school teacher, right next. Master is Jack and the Beanstalk. <laughs> <laughs> Again, but nobody heard the word and the sucking noise. There was once a poor widow. With an only son named. <gasps> named. <gasps> oh no! I have a man! He had this vision. Yes! So many tears! Next came Penny! This is the myth of. Pegasus! Better Polly heard the noises once more. <laughs> A long time ago, oh my god, like so long time ago in Greece, there was a horse called Pegasus. This horse was so special because... <gasps> because... <gasps> because... <laughs> Fuck the swap! <gasps> dun, 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 dun. We can't afford to lose any more stories. It's the end of storytelling in Tail Town! As excited, Doc built the roof. Doc, 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 she had to get the gecko out of the window. <laughs> She looked and saw a family young man hiding away from the village. He was carrying a large wooden box with a long hole. Holy schmoy! It's Dr. Spellbinder! I'd better look into this. The Pelopoli has him from the hall. She follows up the spell by the from resistance as she left the town and made his way into the hills. At last, Dr. Spellbinder disappeared to the mouth of a king. Bentley <laughs> Polly followed him and stopped in astonishment. The huge cave was filled with mechanisms and contraptions, all of them noisily pulling or pushing or pounding or pounding. Dr. Spellbinder emerged out of the darkness. Around him were lots of story boxes and other strange devices. He set down the big box he was carrying and patted it on me while he laughed. <laughs> One story, two story, three story. 
Today in my story is to put in my story boxes and all things. My brilliant invention, brilliant. The spell behind the story sucker. Soon, I steal all the stories in the world. Then everyone will have to buy my story. Then I'll be rich, rich. What is it? Rich. <laughs> Pedlo, Polly, what are you doing here? Putting an end to your evil plan, Spellbinder. <laughs> it's Dr. Spellbinder to you. And no, no, no. You won't catch me so easily, Pedlo, Polly. And then Dr. Spellbinder grabbed the story sucker and sprinted it from the cave. You lunatic puppet, Pedlo, Polly, in pursuit. The evil man, Spellbinder. <laughs> You won't catch me so easily. See how you like this story, Panda Polly. He drew something behind him. There was a flash of light. And out of nowhere, a huge crowd of children appeared, coming towards Panda Polly. They were led by a man in a many colored costume, playing on the fire. Excuse me. It's a catty two kids, but I wouldn't follow a pipe driver. Is that the spell? My name was far ahead. But Panda Polly ran hard and gained on him. Huh? One good story deserves another! <laughs> he threw something behind him, another flash, <laughs> and out of nowhere, a boy appeared chopping down a gigantic big stop. But just then, the boy took to his heels calling, Heads up! Then the boy looked up and stopped just in time. A huge man tumbled from the sky, and the ambulance was shaking to crash. Who just speak for her? Did no stories could be so dangerous? Pedro Polly ran around the giant while she waved to the boy and called. Thank you, Jack. Stop! This is not Titanic! And then, Zach the Spellman had vanished behind the hill and Pedro Polly backed after him. But finally, she saw Zach the Spellman up ahead. She continued running and sat in me. Pedro Polly was at the edge of a very Uh, I don't guess you'll need it where you're going. 
going for a crime like shutting up stories, a judge is sure to shut you up unhappily ever after. The next day, when all of the two spell by the story box is being opened, the people of their town had the big, big, <laughs> big curry. Hey, no, big, um, big, hey, big bakute, guys. <laughs> big, um, huh. big storytelling. Ah, yes, the people of their town had the big storytelling festival on the town square. Mayor Big Big announced. <laughs> and our special guest for today is. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Red <Love> Polly! Woo! Polly! <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks. And now I'll tell a story called Pet Little Polly and the Story Stealer. And that's the deal. They will always tell. In Tail Town. Woohoo! I told you it's boring. No! It's a great story. Everyone agree, right? Yeah! We should do this for another 20, 20 years? Ah, yeah. yeah, shucks. 20 years, yay! Yeah. 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 One, two. <laughs> it's not over yet. It's not over yet, Peddler Bunny. I will be back for my revenge. I will be back! <laughs> Stop playing around. I'm done. Well, guys, that show was refreshing. So let's give another round of applause for Pedro Cody and the story here. So, the next story up would be Princess Mouse. Let's give them... Daffodils? Because <laughs> got smart, smart! 
I'll say. It's a wonder how your Prince Charming didn't go deaf. They could have just cut to the chase, but no. They just had to say. <coughs> Fairy Godfather! Hello. when Jack and Gaga sent to my Prince Henry to help break the spell. <laughs> oh, bippity boppity boo, I know, I know. We all know. Do you all remember the last time you were this hard for a princess? Annoying. Every single time. No, uh Girls, girls, make hair go bye-bye! That's Rapunzel. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down thy golden hair. There are children present! Guys, guys, go blind! Are you done? Respectfully, but the older one said, <laughs> You've told us, Pa, we must each cut down a tree and see where it points. Out of boy, that's right. <laughs> and walk that way till you find a sweetheart. That's how we've done it. That's how we always. Now, the other son already knew who he wanted to marry. He also knew how to cut the tree, so he felt how he wanted. So, he fell and pointed to the farm where Sweetheart lived. The youngest son, whose name was Miko, didn't have a sweetheart. But he thought he'd try his luck in the town. Well, maybe he cut the tree wrong, or maybe he had thoughts of its own. But it fell, pointing to the forest. Timber! Oh. <laughs> Good job, Miko. Well, Sweetheart, we went there. A wolf? Or a fox? <laughs> Never mind, I'll find who I find. Oh, oh, I remember this story. This sad, sad part when the two young men went their ways. Miko walked through the forest for hours without seeing a soul. But at last, he came to a cottage deep in the woods. Into the woods, it's time to go. I hate to leave, I have to go. Into the woods I go, and so I must begin my journey. Into the woods and through the trees to where I am expecting now. Into the woods I go to find a sweetheart. Find a sweetheart. But when he went inside, he saw nobody. Nobody! 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 nobody. Can you not? Sorry. <sighs> okay, back to the story. Miku was sad because he walked all this way for nothing. All this way for nothing? No! Who said that? Down here! Where? Down here! Where? Down here! Miko looked around, but the only living thing inside was a little mouse on the table. Standing on his high feet, he gave him with a fly, fly, fly. Oh, no, 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 no. 
I'm sorry. Did you say something? Of course I did. No, why did you tell me you needed what you came for? Miku never talked to Micey before. No, oh, but Miku was polite, so he replied. My name's Miko, and I've come looking for a sweetheart. <gasps> a sweetheart? Why, Miko, I'll gladly be your honey, bunny, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> but, but, but you're only a mouse. Ah, that may be true, but I can still love you wholeheartedly. Besides, even a mouse can be special. Come, feel my fur. <laughs> Because the muffins back. Ah, love is the moment. <laughs> wow, it feels just like velvet, just like the gown of a princess. I told you, Miko. <laughs> and as he said to her, she said to him prettily, Miko, sweetheart, will I be? What a fine young man is he! Gown of velvet, I do wear. into the flat, bright side, and such a pretty was quite nice for a month. And since he will find no one else anyway, he said, That was odd. But alright, little mouse, <coughs> you can be my sweetheart. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you really sure? Yeah. Are you really, really sure? Yeah. <laughs> You know I'm starting to rethink this. Oh, no. I promise you won't be sorry. I promise you, look. I promise you that I will love you till my last breath. Oh, oh, I also promise you that I will be the best for you. I know we've only met for two minutes. Not one, two. But I promise you that we'll be together forever and ever and ever. Not one day, not two days. No. When Miko got home, his brother was already there boasting to their father. <laughs> My sweetheart has a rosy red cheese and a long golden head. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Sounds nice, son. What about yours, Miko? <laughs> <laughs> Miko has a sweetheart. Yes, Miko. Did you find a sweetheart with a nice fur coat? <laughs> 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 Miko, sweetheart, you have to be careful. Miko, sweetheart, you have to be careful. Miko, sweetheart, was a mouse. So he said, <laughs> Mine wears a velvet gown, like a princess. <gasps> His brother stopped yelping, and the farmer said, Well, sounds like Miko's tree pointed a good way, too. But now, I must test both your sweethearts. Tomorrow, y'all ask them to weave you some cloth. That's how we've done it. That's how we always will. They started out early next morning, <laughs> when Miko reached the cottage in the woods, that was the little mouse on the table, screaming in happiness. <laughs> oh, Mika, I'm so glad you're here. Is this the room already? I'm here waiting, mouse. Oh, my cheeks. My dress is not done yet. My Mika. I have to fix my tail. And my fur and my tail. Uh-oh. My cheeks. <laughs> Miko sighed and gently stroked her fur. Not yet, little mouse. Why, Miko, you look so sad. What's wrong? My father wants you to weave some cloth. <coughs> How can you do that? You're only a mouse. Hey! Hey! That is so offensive. <laughs> oh, double F, offensive. <laughs> Lay down on the bed in the corner, and the little man sang him a pretty lullaby. Miko, sweetheart, will I be? What a fine young man is he! Cloth of linen I will be. I'll be done when he must sleep. When the little mouse was sure Miko was sleeping, Ah, 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 ah. Hmm. Oh, single my seat. 
the rest took off and the camera is back from the cottage. Hey! <laughs> for the wedding on the bank of a lovely swift flowing stream. Whoosh! The guests were all there and enjoying themselves. But as soon the carriage came up, they all grew silent and stared at the little carriage. Mikko had that third with his fright, skipping in his blade. <gasps> Mikko and the little mouse went after him. <laughs> that is the stupidest thing I've ever saw. <laughs> <laughs> With one quick kick, he sent the carriage and the rats and the mice all into the stream. Splash! Gus Gus fell. Jack fell too. We almost died. <laughs> Before Miko could do a thing, the carriage bowled up. Miko was pissed. P I S D. P I S S E D. Ebo. <laughs> What have you done? You killed my sweetheart! The pain is here! <laughs> she may have been a mouse, but she was also my sweetheart, and I really did love her. He was about to swing at his brother when his father called out, Miko Blue! All the guests were staring downstream and pointing and crying out in wonder. Miko turned and to his amazement saw three black horses putting a carriage under the tree. The coachman sat in front, and in the carriage was a wet, wet, soaky princess in a lovely, lovely gouge. A pearly velvet gouge. The carriage rode up along the bank and stopped right before him. Miko, aren't you going to help me down? Sweetheart's waiting. Miko stared blankly a moment, and then his eyes flew wide. Are you the little mouse? I surely was, but no longer. An ugly witch cursed me, and the spell could only be broken by one brother who wanted to marry me. And another who wanted to kill me. Hashtag Giba A A. Why bother? I need a change of clothes. I can't possibly be wet at a wedding. <laughs> and in fact, wedding it was. But Miko to ride the wonder of all. The farmer could hardly stop looking at her. I told you I'm special. Yes, my love. <laughs> Miko's brother was jealous. <laughs> The very next day, the princess brought Miko back to a cottage. But it was a cottage no longer. It was a castle with hundreds of feathers. Ooh, what am I seeing? Mice, cut, cut. It's mice. Sorry. <laughs> and there they made their home happily. Happily? Happily! 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 And if the Miko and the princess had any sons, you know just how they choose their right. Time. I must simply be on my way now. Where are you going to fight your father? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Didn't you hear? The princess and Miko just had the first ball. <gasps> I'm going to pay them a visit. Jack wants to go, Jack wants to go. Just want to go too. Can we go? Can we go? Can we go? Let's go. <laughs> Kimono. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, two. 
It's your cycle time, children. Are you ready? <laughs> Miss, can I be a princess? No. I want to be the princess. No. We discussed really about this. We discussed about this. You're not going to be the princess. And a girl. Sweetheart, time for artist time. It's your cycle. Mommy. Mommy. <laughs> This one, she can't stop singing. <laughs> Good. Ready, everyone? Okay. Well, the 
girls from heaven came forward singing their songs. Good day to you, my sister. Good day to you. They lowered their jugs into the well and they pulled, they pulled, they pulled the jugs. The frog in it. They went to the house of the sun chief and left him in a room. Frog was alone. He jumped out of the jug and put the letter out on a bed. Oh, this is heaven, man. Why should I hop? The sun chief came for a drink of water. He saw the letter and he read it. Oh, oh what letter is this? Oh, oh kimono. Kimono, kimono, kimono. kimono. Oh. A man of earth wished to. Um, wished to. Um, what a silly handwriting. Hmm. Marry the Sky Maiden? Sky Maiden? Your daughter? My daughter? How can this be? <laughs> so then Mr. Sky, Mr. Sun Chief went to meet the daughter <coughs> and meet the girls who face the water. Girls? Oh yes, girls? Yes, Majesty. Did you bring this letter? What letter? This letter. Oh. That letter? Oh, no. We did not, we did not, we did not. Go back to your work. He went to his wife, the pretty moon lady said. Oh, good day, my wife. What should we do? What is it, honey? This letter. Mm. If this letter belongs to the sky maiden, why did you ask your daughter? Oh, my so daughter. Then he went to meet his daughter, the sky maiden. Oh, um, sky maiden, my dearest, most prettiest, most cutest, and most loveliest daughter. What should we do? <laughs> oh, Father, let us see if they bring me the... Ka-ching, ka-ching! Cha-ching! Oh, if you excuse me, Father, I should get back to my hair. Teacher, can I have my crayons now? No, it's not time yet! Okay. So the sun chief wrote a letter and set it on the bench. Then he went away. Frog came out and put the letter in his mouth. Then, he sneakily climbed back into an empty jug. Oh, 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 oh. The next day, the girls took the jug and climbed down to earth singing the songs. Good day to you, my sister. Good day to you. They lowered their jugs into the well and Frog jumped out. Then the girls went back to heaven. Frog took the letter to Kimana. Kimana! Frog, over here! Kimana! Kimana! Here's a letter for you. Thank you. Oh. Mm. To Kimono. Kimono, Kimono, Kimono. Huh? Oh. You may marry my daughter if you bring a purse of money. How am I supposed to send the money? I cannot go to heaven. This I cannot do. Oh, so um, then I will bring it for you. <laughs> you took a letter to heaven. But can you from? Yes. Can you? Okay. Bring a purse of money. Oh my god. Um, get it, get it. Whatever <laughs> it is, I can do it. But only since I tried. Message. Kimana gave Frog a purse of money. Frog took a hold of it with his mouth and carried it to the well. He um. climbed in and waited. Um. <laughs> the girls from heaven came to the well. Again? Um. Oh. Good day to you, my sister. Good day to you. Frog got into one of the jugs. So the girls pulled and pulled and pulled the jug all the way to heaven. Then they left him in a room. Frog set the money on the bench. Then he hit. The sun chief came and found a purse of money. Now where did this come from? So then he went to meet the girls who fetched the water. Girls? Oh yeah. girls! Yes, your majesty. majesty. Did you bring this money? What money? This money. Oh, that money. <laughs> no. <laughs> we did not, we did not, we did not. If so, you can go back to your work. He went to his wife, the pretty moon lady said. My dear wife, what should we do with this money? Hmm. 
If that money belongs to the Sky Maiden, my sweetest husband, why don't you ask her? <laughs> sky Maiden gets it. So then he meets his daughter, the Sky Maiden. <laughs> oh, Sky Maiden, my dearest, most beautiful, <laughs> most wonderful, and most precious daughter. What should we do? Oh, Father, <coughs> let us see if you can come and fetch me. If I may, Father, I'd like to get back to my um, nails. Where did that come from? <laughs> so, the Sanchi wrote a letter and left it on the bench. From, found the letter and put it in his mouth. He climbed into an empty jug. Teacher, is it art time yet? Again? No, put it down. So, the next day, the girls carried him to Earth. <clears throat> Good day to you, my sister. Good day to you. He jumped into the well, and the girls went back to heaven. La 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 la. Shh, stop with the singing, honey. Frog brought the letter to Kumana. Frog. Oh, Kumana. Every day, Frog. I'm over here. <laughs> letter, letter, letter. <laughs> <laughs> To Kimara. Kimara, Kimara, Kimara. <laughs> you might marry my daughter if you come and fetch her. How can I fetch her? She is in heaven. This I cannot do. Oh, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna for you. You took a letter to heaven. So yeah, you took you brought the purse of money. But are you sure from are you one hundred percent sure from that you can fetch our right? Oh whatever it is, I can do it, but only since I try. Message. Frog climbed back into the well. The girls came with the jugs. Can we not sing? <laughs> yeah, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> and they carried him to heaven. Frog jumped out. Um, um, feet in all of the jugs of water.
I will lead you to your husband. <laughs> Can a frog lead a woman? Hey, hey, little lady, listen to me now. I took a letter to heaven. Um, I brought a purse of money. Um, I, um, um, I fetched you, the bride. Remember, remember, whatever it is, I can do it, but only if I try. Freeze! Now remember when the wicked wizard said there was only one way to break the enchantment, and that is to perform a pure act of sincerity. Oh, pardon my small body. <laughs> now, with the power vested in me, I now pronounce you man and not free! <laughs> Man, once again. Now, Spike Maiden. Um, then uh, it is you, all Mary. But, but wait, it's not you. It's me. I was a mere frog. Why would you want to marry me? It is because of sincere heart, Mister Frogs. My heart. And that's what's important. Ah!
Sedih mana ya? Ih, sedih mas, sedih deh Sedih, sedih Boleh beli dah, beli dah nanti Ali! Ali, kan beli di kamera Ali! Haa, what? Tapi 
because the lovely Fida started to grow fierce. Ah, Fida started to get mad about all the little things. Oh. And so they became tired from all of her nagging. <laughs> What's up with your shit? Sakina, I'm talking to you. I'm sorry. Sakina, I'm, I'm sorry, boo, but I just got out of the loop. Why are you running shit? Sorry, Line up. Take it off.
please forgive me. I crashed the car on the big old tree. Bam. Are you okay? 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 It's alright, it's alright. As long as you're fine, because my love for you isn't about money, it's for you and it's free. Oh, cheesy witches! <laughs> Thank you, dearest. I promise you, I'll be careful next time. And I'm so glad you're not mad that I came home at three. Ah, uh, it's okay. Let's just go to bed. What? <laughs> Him, but, oh, but after the one, he began to get precarious because the city Natasha started to grow careless. Natasha started not to get about his attitude anymore. And so they became tired of her showing the great attitude. Ah, ah, dearest, my pants, they caught on fire. Oh my god, they put it like a flame, it's burning wild. Dearest, oh, don't panic, can you keep him? I want to kill me, I'll be back in one. Facebook. 
so official. Are you guys had abandoned me? Don't be friends with you three. Yeah. Oh, die, second, 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 die, second,
We're doing Rita's theater here. We're supposed to be telling stories, not singing songs. Come on, man. Act normal. Boom! No. <laughs> Do you wanna hear a story? Whoa! <laughs> About a girl named Hillary. Whoa! <laughs> you guys wanna tell the story? Then you guys tell the story. No, 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 no. <laughs> you tell a story now, bro. <laughs> One thing I don't know why it doesn't even matter how hot you try. Keep that in mind. <laughs> This is not how you tell a story, my friend. Let me tell a story. Should we do it? Do 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 we
Just go. Hillary got in the play again. Hillary got in the play again. A blue, a loop, the loop. A loop, the loop, a loop. She was so easy. She was so easy.
our music band? Yes! yes. I can be in your music band? Yes! I'm hot! You're too hot! Hot them! Call the police and the firemen! You're too hot! Hot them! Don't believe me, just watch! Can someone help me send the camera to the technician? It's not even, it's not even stopped. Yeah. Can we take a photo? No, we don't. 